He was regarded as an icon of the golden age of church music and as a top representative of church-trained musicians in the time of Spanish colonization. And widely known as, Palestrina of the Philippines. Adonai was born in the low-income family, and because of that his parents Mariano Adonai and Prudencia Quiteria entrusted him at the early age of eight to the priests of San Agustin Church in Manila 1856, where his talent in music was discovered and developed. From his humble beginnings of a self-taught musician, he emerged as an official and an excellent composer, conductor, church organist, teacher and a choir master, and a director of an orchestra. He was a great example of a person who never regarded his poverty as a hindrance to learn more. Works He was an original composer of liturgical music and kept a pure and simple music. These are some of his compositions, Liberame, 1869, Benedictus, 1895, Hosanna, 1899, Te Diem, and a Grand Mass. Including, Resol Glorified, as a non-religious piece, portraying heroism and martyrdom of José Rizal. That was played at the Grand Opera House on December 10, 1911. In 1866, he became a founding member of the Union Artistica Musical, the first musicians' union in the Philippines, and he was the conductor in the premier performance in the Philippines of Beethoven's Missa Solemnis in D Major in 1887. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell button so you never miss the next informative video.